Hey gang, Hell in a Cell is, well, over with. And, um, well, as WWE does sometimes, um, well, it had a, had a slight change to one of the matches, and, uh, <laughs> oh man, but a, but a card nonetheless of stuff that happened, and, um, and, um, yeah, what can I say, but let's get to those results, shall we? Of course, things started off with the pre-show match between Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin against the Hype Bros, and your winners, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. The first match on the card was the New Day taking on the Usos in a Hell in a Cell match. Your winners and new tag team champions, the Usos. And then Randy Orton squared off against Rusev. And your winner was Randy Orton, of course. And AJ Styles was supposed to take on Baron Corbin for the United States title, but it turns out to be a triple threat match involving Ty Dillinger. Your winner and new United States champion, Baron Corbin. I like that t-shirt he has. And then Natalia defended the women's title against Charlotte. Your winner, Charlotte by disqualification. <laughs> and the WWE title is on the line in a non-Hell in a Cell match between Jinder Mahal and Shinsuke Nakamura. And what a shock, Jinder Mahal is still the WWE champion. And Bobby Roode made his glorious... Uh, big match pay-per-view <laughs> debut against Dolph Ziggler and your winner, the glorious one, Bobby Roode. And the main event was a Hell in a Cell Falls Count Anywhere match between Shane McMahon and Kevin Owens. And your winner, Kevin Owens, with a little help from Sami Zayn. All right, so there you guys have it, the Hell in a Cell results. Oh, well, well, what can I say? Predictable? A tad bit. Uh, <laughs> I think what I'm mostly gonna gonna rant on is the uh, Jinder Mahal uh, Shinsuke Nakamura match. It's ridiculous that they are letting Jinder Mahal keep the belt. Fan attendance is low, and before I started to record this video, I thought about a lot about what I wanted to say. And, you know, of course, feel free to agree or disagree, if you like. Please do. But, to me, it seems like Vince McMahon couldn't care less about what the fans want or think. It's obvious the fans wanted uh, Shinsuke Nakamura to be the WWE Champion. But, for Vince McMahon, it's all about business, and... And apparently they're supposed to be, uh, according to fellow YouTuber Danny Nightmare, they're supposed to be having some sort of a uh, tour in India. And of course, Vince just couldn't let Jinder Mahal drop the belt. If they're going to have a big tour in India before too long, that's going to mean big business. And of course, probably going to bring out fan attendance and all this other stuff. So, the whole stinking show was... Obviously, I, I guess, I mean, the lineup was a little bit better than last year's, but the results are pretty much the same. Nothing special, nothing great. Well, except that uh, New Day Usos tag match. Everything I've read about it, uh, there's there's been a lot of people who, who saw it and said it has to be match of the year, or at least a contender for match of the year. And... And making Bobby Roode versus Dolph Ziggler the semi-main event, that made no sense. You know, it, it it could have been an early match, but, you know, and and it was obvious, you know, Shane McMahon and Kevin Owens was going to be the main event. Um, and why why make it a false count anywhere match? I mean, I mean, I remember back at 
backlash of 2000, I think, something like that. Triple H and Chris Jericho had a Hell in a Cell match. And Triple H pinned Chris Jericho on top of the cell. <laughs> so really, to make this a false count anywhere match wasn't making it very special. And of course, we have Shane McMahon diving off the top of the top of the cage onto Kevin Owens, which apparently Sami Zayn came out and moved Kevin Owens out of the way. And there have been quite a few people predicting that Sami Zayn was eventually going to turn heel, which I guess kind of makes sense. You know, put him and Kevin Owens as a tag team and kind of make him another odd couple like tag team and all this. Um, you know, the whole thing about, you know, if you can't beat him, join him, I guess, or something like that. Um, but yeah, I would have, I would have put Jinder Mahal, Shinsuke as the semi, semi main event to kind of get people, you know, but then again, I, I don't know if people would have been really ready for two disappointments because I don't know how many people out there were really betting on, uh, Shane, Shane, Shane McMahon to win, but I think, um, I think with people seeing, you know, Nakamura again not winning, um, that's got to be a severe kick to the head of a lot of fans. And, I mean, even though I picked Mahal to win, I, I still think, you know, AJ Styles drops the belt, drops the U.S. title, Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura wins the WWE title, goes on to Survivor Series, and they would have one, one heck of a match to bring the house down. But no, Vince has got... Uh, outside of the U.S. deals to work with and business and all that, and that's all he's really concentrating on. He couldn't really care less about what what, what the fans think, and and I think I think um, and I think a big part of that is because, well, I don't know how often the WWE travels to Japan, and and I'm pretty sure if he had a deal working with them, he probably would have put the belts on Shinsuke Nakamura, and probably would have gotten big business out of them. But you know, what? I'm rambling on, and I'm sorry, gang. I'm I'm really sorry. I'm. I shouldn't be, you know, ranting about this kind of stuff. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there disagree with what I say, and that's cool. That's fine. But it, but Vince needs to just give in to the fans. He needs to listen to them and listen to what and listen to how they react to certain wrestlers. I mean, I'm happy Baron Corbin is U.S. champion. That's great. You know. But people should not be punished for what they put on Twitter. Come on, seriously. I mean, if you're if if you're gonna be if you're gonna be punished for having a personal life, then I say you know what? Don't work for WWE. You know, work for work for a different promotion that just says, hey, you know what? You're you're taking a picture with with somebody you're supposed to be wrestling and later on that night. Screw it. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, uh, Randy Orton defeating Rusev, we, everybody saw that one coming, um, yeah, so, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm rambling, um, uh, Shane McMahon once again doing the dive off the, off the Hell in a Cell structure, meh, uh, everybody knew he was gonna do it, <laughs> um, I don't know who they're going to set up for the next opponent for Jinder Mahal, but hopefully it's not Shinsuke Nakamura because, let's face it, this rivalry is really going nowhere. It's It it, it happened at a big pay-per-view and it happened at a B pay-per-view. And I was like, they they got to give it to... they they got to give the, the title shot to somebody who, which people are going to sit there and go, yes, this is going to be a great match, even though we're kind of sick of Mahal. Uh... Holding the belt, I think they're. I think they're starting to become less WWE fan attendance than there is at uh, Impact Wrestling, but who knows? Too harsh. Okay. So I want to get some shout-outs to some uh, fellow YouTubers. We we'll hope you guys will go check out and uh, some wrestling channels on here I, I uh, recently have checked out and uh, they got some really cool awesome classic wrestling on there if you want to go check out their stuff too so so going to give them out to Will's World Danny Nightmare Wrestling with Regret Gordon Maston Christian Miracle Rain Q 
Gordon Maston, World Famous Flea Market, NorCal Pro Wrestling, High Spots, One True Fan, Sammy Guevara, Controversial Wrestling Shoots, WrestleMania, Jim Cornette's Talking Sense, Slat Rock Wrestling, Colt Cabana, What Culture Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, Kayfabe Commentaries, Buckshot LaFonk, Arcadian Vanguard, RF Video One, Lee Flicks, Papa J Smooth Wrestling, RLHJR Classic Wrestling, formerly known as the Wrestling Collector, TNA Bound 2009 Old School Wrestling Network, Mark Boy 316 WCPW, Lonesome Henri Mean, <laughs> Adam Dunn, Title Match Wrestling, Spot Show Wrestling, Wrestle Reel, WrestleManiac 1130, Trader Jack 641, Mick Foley, Mabel Mania, Four Wrestling Fans, Ya Boy Compton, Vintage Extreme, Ring of Honor Wrestling, George Redcorn, Rad Pro Embryonics, Motionless NC, Hockey Mask Guy, Matt Jarosho, and the AWA Collection. So there you guys have it. The Hell in a Cell results, my rant, <laughs> and a lot of shout-outs. So I hope you guys will go check out the channels I uh, I mentioned. I will have their channels in the description below. And to fellow YouTuber Danny Nightmare, enjoy your cinnamon. Oh, goodness. God, Danny, don't do this, man. I I feel rotten. I really do. Don't do this. Drink a cinnamon Pepsi. We'll call it even, okay? <laughs> Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. And, of course, if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. God bless you all. Please go check out these channels and subscribe to them. And, of course, if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. I will see you guys for the next WWE pay-per-view, which... Either it's going to be TLC or Survivor Series. Not sure which one, but we'll see what happens. So take care, everybody. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong and rock on.